Are you ready to be blown away? Critics may have doubted it, but Saudi Arabia is proving them wrong. The Neo Mega Project, a $500 billion futuristic city, is taking shape right before our eyes. Join us as we unveil the latest progress video and witness the astounding developments that have been made. It's time to see for yourself that Neo is no longer just a dream, but a reality in the making. Today, we are going to talk about an interesting project called Neo. Make sure to watch the video till the end so you don't miss the most exciting part. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Neo, the planned smart city for Saudi Arabia, will be built in the desert and be unlike any other place on Earth. The 105 mile long The Line, which is located in Saudi Arabia's desert city of Neo, has had its design plans released publicly. According to the plan, the project will have two buildings that are 1,600 feet tall. These buildings will be 75 miles long, running parallel and horizontally from the Gulf of Aqaba in the west of the country, over a mountain range, and into the metropolis of the desert. Moreover, the building will have a silver finish, and they will run on renewable energy. More than 5 million people are anticipated to live there, so they will also include miles of greenery, dwellings, and their own farms. In addition, a fast railway will run underneath the two mirror line buildings and connect them by walkways. Approximately 9 million passengers will be able to travel from one end to end in a 20-minute span thanks to these conveniences. Furthermore, a sports stadium, which is 1,000 feet high above the ground, will be part of the development, according to Prince Mohammed bin Salman. There will also be a marina, where locals may berth their yachts under a bridge that connects to the two skyscrapers. However, the project will take 50 years to complete. As we know that the Neom started the project construction last year, let's take a look at the progress that has been made so far. Recently, Saudi Arabia's Neom released a new video showing the progress so far at the kingdom's upcoming $500 billion mega project to boost tourism and encourage partnerships. The initiative is a component of the kingdom's efforts to wean its economy off of oil, and the line's progress was visible in the dramatic overhead photographs, which also showed how the engineering team and laborers had set up their offices and a campsite nearby. Giles Pendleton, executive director of the line, reported that one of the most significant new urban developments in Neom and the rest of the world was moving forward quickly under construction. Work is already quite advanced on the infrastructure to support the line, with world-renowned architects designing the initial sections, vertical spaces, and layers for the first residents, he told The National. The three-minute progress video features footage of the project's construction activities occurring in several places. Reportedly, places like Tojina, Oxagon, and Sindala are included in this. So let's see what these amazing places will look like once the construction is complete. Sindala. In 2024, Sindala will be the first region in Neom to welcome tourists. The luxurious island will serve as a major entryway to the Red Sea, providing travelers with specialized nautical experiences. The lavish island will also include 86 piers, three opulent resorts, a spa, over 50 opulent brands and yacht clubs, approximately 2,000 different marine species, many of which are exclusive to the Red Sea and can only be found there, will continue to call Sindala Island home. The future of work, living, and sustainability is coming to life, the video says, adding that the master plan is being realized more every day. A project unique in scale, already being built in a place with 95% of the land protected for nature, where rewilding is in motion, bringing animals back to their natural habitat. Trojina Aside from Sindala, the video also demonstrates the advancement of Trojina, a neo-mountain destination that will house the first GCC outdoor skiing resort. The 2029 Asian Winter Olympics will take place in Trojina, and more than 32 nations are expected to compete. The 500-meter tall, 170-kilometer long AI-run city was also shown in the movie, which also demonstrates the development of Neom's The Line, which is intended to accommodate 9 million people. Saudi Arabia, which won't actually construct the futuristic city The Line at Neom, will instead utilize a lot of the artificial intelligence to design through a digital twin backbone according to an earlier internal interview with Neom's executive director, Giles Pendleton. We've got to build quite a lot of real estate in a short space of time. Well, we're not actually building the line. We're assembling it from a series of modular pieces that are pre-engineered and predetermined as to what they do. Pendleton said when asked about building a new city of 9 million inhabitants in a short period of time. Oxagon the Oxagon development, which aims to be the largest floating industrial complex in the world, was also shown in the video. By 2030, Oxagon hopes to house about 90,000 people, with the first moving in as soon as next year. 
Oxagon will be one of the world's most technologically advanced logistical hubs with state-of-the-art integrated port and airport connectivity, a statement in November 2021 read. So, the developers claim that they will create the first completely integrated port and supply chain ecosystem in the world. All while taking the kingdom's net zero objectives into account, they will concentrate on seven industries, sustainable energy, autonomous transportation, water innovation, sustainable food production, health and well-being, technology and digital manufacturing, and contemporary building techniques. A number of verified tenants already support these claims at Oxagon, such as the hydrogen project being undertaken by Air Products ACWA Power and NEO. Hyzon Motors, Desert Technologies, and Gulf Modular International will all open offices in the city. Now, out of all these tasks, what has Neom achieved so far? The developer's accomplishments were also highlighted in the video, along with the most recent updates, which included the opening of Tonomas, a Neom subsidiary that specializes in AI-driven technologies for the mega project. Adding to this was the kingdom's $175 million investment in Volocopter to speed up urban air mobility, which is managed by Inoa, the organization in charge of Neom's sustainable energy and water systems. If we are to solve the challenges of tomorrow, we must face up to them today, no matter how difficult they may seem. At Neom, we are addressing some of the most pressing challenges facing humanity by bringing together a community of the brightest minds committed to reimagining what a sustainable future will look like in 20 to 30 years and building it today. Neom Chief Executive Officer Nadham Al Nassar said, Al Nassar added, We are redefining the future now. Neom is open for business. So, the latest footage in the first film is what will be ongoing series showing progress at NEO. Now, talking about how this mega project would look like once it's complete, the line will have a mirror facade, allowing even its footprint to blend in with nature. Prince Mohammed stressed the need to address the growing pressure on urban spaces and create solutions for a fast-expanding global population in his remarks at the line's opening in July. And according to him, the line will be the first metropolis in the world to run entirely on clean energy sources, including hydrogen, solar, and wind. By 2050, commute durations will double. By 2050, 1 billion people will have to relocate due to rising carbon dioxide emissions and sea levels, he said. He continued, Why should we sacrifice nature for the sake of development? Why should 7 million people die every year because of pollution? Why should we lose 1 million people every year to traffic accidents? And why should we accept wasting years of our lives commuting?" He said. And finally, the question we have all been waiting for is when will NEOM be completed? Keeping in the view the progress being made on the project, it is estimated that we will see the city coming to life soon. The economic zone is anticipated to have a capacity of 450,000 by 2026 and 1.5 to 2 million by 2030, eventually housing 9 million people. And by 2045, 9 million individuals will live there. So we cannot wait to see the next phase of development happening at the site, but it remains to be seen whether the project will hold up to its claims or not. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.